Hey everybody! So today I was just like thinking about since um, the house fire that I had what a hard time I've been having. So like I know that the few times that I've made videos since then I've told you guys I've been having a hard time um, and I've mentioned before in other videos that like Previously to this, I've always suffered like from anxiety and depression and stuff. But since the house fire, like that's got worse, and then like some new stuff has been added into the mix. Like, um, I don't know, the doctor um, tell me that I'm having like PTSD. So with that comes the new symptom of irritability. So like I get irritable like super fast and have been like acting out of character for myself and it's not always a good thing i don't know is irritability ever a good thing i'm not sure in some of these cases it's not a good thing anyway so i just want to tell you guys like a little like i don't know i guess this is like a little story time of something that happened a couple months ago now and um I don't know it's kind of funny looking back although it's not funny because I'm still irritated by it um, but a couple months ago I had went hiking with my son and my stepdaughter and we had gone to the beach it was a great time a great hike it was so beautiful and I felt like so relaxed and happy that day it had been such a good day and then um, we drove back into town like I don't know where we hiked it was probably like uh, I would say like an hour and a half, maybe almost a two hour drive from where we live. Anyway, we'd driven back into town and um, it was kind of later and I didn't feel like after hiking all day, coming home and cooking dinner and my grandma was home and I knew that she would be hungry. So we were driving by a Dairy Queen by my house and so I'm like, okay, let's stop here and I'll get us each one of those like $5 meal deals that come with like... You know, like you can choose like chicken strips, burger, whatever. You can choose like the main thing. It comes with fries, a drink, and a little ice cream. So anyway, we go to the Dairy Queen. We go through the drive-thru. We sat in the drive-thru like really long. The line wasn't even like that long when we first pulled up. But like it took really long to get to the window. Um, but at that, that didn't even irritate me at that point. I was fine. So we um, order. We finally get up to the window. And the lady hands us our ice cream and our drinks and then she says um, that she isn't able to get my card to work or something I don't know she had to go get a manager to get my bank card to swipe and no that didn't even irritate me the delay in that hey that's fine whatever so the manager helped her with that and not, at this point we already had the drinks and the ice cream so like it's a hot day that day it was like close to 100 degrees so our ice is melting in our drinks already and our ice cream's getting kind of melty and then the lady says okay i'm going to need you to pull around to the back of the building um the food's cooking we'll bring it out to you and at that point like i don't know i was slightly irritated and I'm like okay fine so like at this Dairy Queen back behind the building like there's no shade it's just like pavement sun beating down on the back of the building like right on you very hot and like I guess at that point the most irritating thing in my mind is like oh my god our air conditioning is broke in the car we don't have air conditioning and so I had to sit there in the hot sun but then as we sat there for five minutes 10 minutes and then another car um, pulled up behind us and parked because they'd sent a car to park and then a couple minutes later another car pulled in front of us so a third car that they had waiting for food pulled in front of us to park and at that point we'd been sitting there for like 15 or 20 minutes and then two ladies come out of the back of the Dairy Queen and they're holding food and so I'm thinking okay like they're gonna come to our car because we were here first and I was gonna complain or like the ice creams were melted and ask for new ice cream 
Like, I wasn't even going to be rude about it. I was irritated, but I was sitting there chatting with my son about it. And I'm like, I'm just going to ask for, like, for new ice cream, like, whatever, let it go. We had a good day. No, but these ladies walk up to the car in front of me. And, like, that just kind of irritated me. The car in front of me was the third car that parked. So that means I was there first and the guy behind me was there first. So if I were him, I would have been irritated, too. So anyway, I roll down my window and I'm like, excuse me. I said, why are you serving that car first when I was here first, that car was here second? Like, what are you doing? And one of the girls, um, she like start like it was a younger girl. She was a teenager. She started giggling and that just like set me off. I'm like, are you serious? Like, who just laughs in customer spaces like even if you feel like laughing at customers like I've been in customer service a long time like wait until the customer walks away or like don't let them see you laughing at them right so that set me off and so then I probably acted inappropriately at this point hey I'm an adult but I'm like excuse me bitch I said you think it's okay to laugh at customers and then she's like oh I wasn't laughing I wasn't laughing and then the other lady's like, I'm sorry, this is like her first day here. I'm like, I don't care if it's her first day. Anyone with common sense knows whether it's their first day or not, that you shouldn't be laughing at customers. And anyway, I got in a verbal altercation. I'm like, you know what? I just want the manager. I want the manager now. And so um, the one girl, not the one that laughed, that, that young girl that laughed, she actually stayed outside and kind of stood by the door the back door and then um the other girl who was giving the excuse that she was new she went back in the building and she comes out with a lady who says she's the manager it's like this skinny toothless lady who looks like she just probably smoked meth in the parking lot before she walked in for her shift and she's like I'm sorry about this blah 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 we'll get you new ice cream and I'm like okay at this point I'm irritated because your employee laughed at me because I was upset because you served that car first it was third like you left us out here for like over 20 minutes like our drinks and stuff are melting like who hands people their drinks and ice cream first anyway when they're sitting in the hot sun like who does that it's just all irritating I'm all irritated and I said the guy behind me should be mad that you served that car first and then like she was arguing back and forth with me and so I handed her my drinks back I'm like look I just want a refund and so she's holding my drinks and she starts walking towards the building so I open the car door and I get out of my car and so then at this point we're standing by the back door um, the toothless lady is standing like I'm right here the toothless lady is right here in front of me and then on the other side of her completely out of my reach is this teenage girl who had laughed at me because I was upset that they served the last car first so she's holding my drinks we're arguing back and forth about a refund she's telling me that their policy is they can't get any refunds that my option is to let them remake the food or I can leave my number for the owner because it's a franchise and the owner can call me back and discuss if he'll give me a refund but then if I do that then I can't take any food with me and I'm risking not getting a refund which that's insane that makes no sense like I don't know what do you think I think it's insane so at that point I'm like fine just remake our food and I said I want the name of the owner I want his phone number so I can call him and she's like we can't give you his number you have to give us your number and I was just like so irritated at this point she's holding like you know those paper things with drinks and it had three drinks in it so she's holding it standing in front of me and I reach over I don't touch her I reach over and from the top of the cup like this I grab the first drink and I throw it in the parking lot I grab the second drink and I throw it in the parking lot and I grab the third drink and I throw it in the parking lot all of this just touching the drinks not touching the woman still nowhere within arm's reach of this teenager and this woman is just looking at me and she's like, you don't need to act like this man, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, look, you're giving me no choice. And I'm sitting here and I'm like cussing back and forth. Like, like I said, looking back, I know I didn't handle this situation appropriately, but neither did they. And I'm the customer. So like they should have handled it more appropriately than I did. 
and so at that point I'm like fine just remake the food and my mom my son is like mom just calm down look you go go sit in the car he's like you're upsetting my mom so I go in the car and my son goes back in the building because he's gonna go watch and make sure that like they don't spit in our food or whatever he wants to like watch them make it because at that point any food that they had was cold and um, the ice cream was hot and the drinks were on the ground so my son goes in to go watch them make it and he goes in and now there's a second manager she says she's a manager and um, she looks at him and we'd never met her and um, the manager who is out there she's like oh that's the son of the lady outside so this new manager she looks at him and she's like nobody talked to him and he's like excuse me I'm just waiting here to watch you guys make our food and make sure you don't do anything to it and also um, I want the name of every employee that we talk to so I can write it down and I want the name and number of the um, owner of the store and so the lady's like my name's Jen and the toothless lady she didn't say toothless obviously but the other lady the manager who was toothless her name's melissa but she wouldn't give us the name of the girl who laughed she like basically told my son that it was none of his business and then she proceeded to tell him that he's lucky that she wasn't calling the cops because i had assaulted this young teenage girl my son he just started laughing he's like what excuse me what do you mean my mom assaulted her she didn't touch her she's like my employee has scratches all over her arms and I should call the cops on your mom because she assaulted her he's like yeah you do that you go ahead and call the cops because that's not true because he was standing there the whole time he knew that I wasn't even in arm's reach of this woman or of this young girl so um, anyway at that point he got the name of the owner but he left my phone number and my name for the owner to call back because they wouldn't give us a phone number for him and so he brings the food out and is like he tells me the whole thing about the police and at that point like I'm getting mad again like really really irritable mad I'm like oh hell no I am gonna go inside and I'm gonna talk to them he's like mom they're not calling the police if they were gonna call the police they would have already called the police because at that point we had been sitting there like at least another 20 minutes from the time the altercation the verbal altercation no physical with this young girl had happened so like at least 20 minutes if I had assaulted her they would have called the police already so I'm like okay fine I'll let it go so we drive home and like honestly like we were still nervous like to eat the food but <laughs> like who knows like he said he watched them that nothing was done to it but after that probably like I'd say an hour I was taking a shower because like I said we've been hiking so um, we were like all like dirty sweaty whatever so after we ate I took a shower and while I was in the shower I missed a call and when I get out I'm looking and there's a voicemail and it's from a fucking police officer and I'm like oh my god are you serious so I listen to the voicemail and he's like um, hi I'm calling for Jennifer and um, he gave my maiden name because my son had actually given them my maiden name. So he's like, I'm calling for Jennifer. Um, this is Officer So-and-So. I need you to call me back about an altercation earlier today at Dairy Queen. I was so mad. I tried to call him back. He didn't answer. I tried and call him back again. He didn't answer. I tried and call him back a third time. He didn't answer. So I left a voicemail. And then he finally calls me back. And I'm like, hello, before you say anything, I want to tell you my side of the story because I'm sure that they told you their side of the story. So I ramble on, tell him this whole thing, and then he tells me, okay, so here's the deal. The Dairy Queen manager called and they're very concerned that you are very aggressive. They're really worried about your aggressive attitude and they, they, they don't think that you did it on purpose, but somehow you accidentally like, you know, scratched up an employee and like they think you might have just accidentally bumped her and I just laughed. I'm like, excuse me. I said, if you had said that I accidentally bumped the toothless crackhead who was holding the drinks that I one by one threw, I probably couldn't argue because it would be a he said, she said, or a she said, she said. 
whatever, because I was standing right next to her. I said, although I did not touch her, I just touched the drinks. I said, but for you to say that I assaulted or accidentally bumped and scratched or whatever, a girl who was on the other side of this woman out of my arm's reach, and there was witnesses in the parking lot, other people waiting for their food, staring at the whole altercation. My son was there. I said, for you to say that, is ridiculous I didn't touch that girl and then I'm like I need you to pull the cameras blah 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 and he's like ma'am I think you're misunderstanding the situation it is not that serious we are not going to take our time and resources to pull security cameras we're just doing our job and calling you because Dairy Queen was concerned because you are too aggressive <laughs> and I'm like okay like whatever I said so this is over right I said I am no charges pressed against me nothing's gonna happen like you know like this isn't a police matter right and he's like no ma'am this is not a police matter I said okay so at this point you could care less what I have to say I could care less what you have to say I'm calling corporate on Monday for a Dairy Queen and I am complaining about this and then I thought that's that I thought because this was a Saturday I was gonna call on Monday so then um, that night I was laying down I wasn't quite asleep yet it was about 12.02 a.m. and my phone rings and it usually doesn't ring that late at night I mean like whatever and it was a blocked call which is also weird so I answer and I'm like hello and there's this woman who said Jennifer and I'm like who is this she's like someone told me to call you I'm like who is this and she hangs up three more times I get this call I finally just like put my phone on airplane mode so that I could go to sleep because I kept getting this blocked call of someone who said someone told them to call me and at this point in my head I know that it has to be because the employees at Dairy Queen are harassing me because my son left my number and how inappropriate is that? Like it just pisses me off and just makes me more want to talk to corporate. So then on Sunday, everything's going fine and then at 11.45, I was actually baking in the kitchen. I wasn't asleep yet. My phone rings and it's blocked. What do you know? So late at night, another block call and I answer and I'm like, hello? And they're like, is this Jennifer? And I'm like, who is this? And they're like, we know you're Jennifer. Or this woman says, we know you're Jennifer. And I'm like, um, I don't know who you are. She's like, you know why I'm calling. And I said, um, no, I'm quite sure I don't know why you're calling. Because I'm like wanting her to tell me like who she is so she can incriminate herself. And I have proof of which employee is harassing me. And then this woman starts like yelling at me that um, she knows that I have a son that's the same age as her daughter or about the same age as her daughter and that she's going to go to his place of employment and assault him to see how I like it. And so at this point, I'm like, oh, no. So like it's not even an employee who took my phone number and is calling me to harass me because I thought it might be like the toothless girl or the other manager. I don't know. But these managers gave my personal information, my phone number to this teenage girl who they got to lie and say that I assaulted her to not only the police, but to her parents. So they have this young girl saying that I assaulted her. She tells her parents and then her mom is calling to harass me and threaten to assault my son. At this point, I'm pissed off. Like this is inappropriate. And so I said, you know what? I said, you need to quit calling me right now. Do not call me back. I said, because I'm calling the police. So I called the police. And of course, the officer I first dealt with, he was off that night. So then I had to explain the whole situation to another officer and I wanted them to do something about it. And they're like, this is not a police matter. It's not illegal for companies to give out your phone number to their friends and family. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm being harassed and you can like find information out about people via their phone number and I want you to do something about it. But he's like, basically, we can't do anything right now because she hasn't done anything to you blah 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 and he's like and from my end it sounds like there was inappropriate behavior on both sides okay yes I admitted that I probably reacted wrongly to the situation by yelling in someone's face and throwing drinks on the ground but as a business I did not refuse to give good service I did not 
um, refuse to give the name or the phone number of the owner and then take the customer's phone number and give it out to a teenage girl after I got her to lie about the situation. And again, I asked him, like, you need to pull the security cameras. And he's like, again, this is not a police matter. The most I can do is stop by there tomorrow when I come back on shift after 6 p.m. and talk to a manager and tell them that if the calls continue to you, then whoever's doing it will be um, charged with telephone harassment. And so like, I don't know, this isn't really an appropriate like solution for me, but what can I do? This officer is not helpful. Again, he says it's not a police matter, so whatever. So the next day I call and um, to Dairy Queen's corporate office and I get someone in a different country, as happens a lot in call centers, where it sounds like they're reading a script and they don't quite understand. Like they can speak English, but they don't quite understand what you're saying. And this like annoys me to no end with companies when this happens. Like it's frustrating. Like you say something and then they just read a script back to you over and over the same thing. And so I tell her what happened and then she repeats back to me, so ma'am, what you're saying is you, ass you assaulted one of our employees and then they gave out your phone number. Mm, no, that's not what I'm saying. So then I had to repeat the whole story again. And then she said she was gonna pass, like she seemed to maybe get it that time, but I still wasn't sure. So then she said she's gonna pass it on to the owner to call me back. I wasn't confident. So then I called, like I found a, like a local US like area code number for Dairy Queen's corporate office. And then I pressed the option for the operator. And I totally like went off on this operator about how, like what happened how customer service didn't seem to understand me and I need to make sure the complaint went in there right and of course it did not like the woman typed it in totally wrong the woman at the corporate on um, like the operator she seemed very apologetic she was going to pass it on to the owner it was kind of funny because um when they were filling out the um like there's a form they have to fill out for the complaint they're like name phone number which obviously they already had my phone number I gave that to him then they're like address and I'm like your manager just gave out my personal phone number to a teenage employee whose mother's been harassing me over the phone threatening to assault my son and you think I'm gonna give you my address to pass on to that store who does not know how to keep confidential information nah I think not so I didn't give him that I didn't give him my email address but long long story that I've already told short Dairy Queen um, the owner of that store never called me back I called Dairy Queen corporate three other times to complain that I hadn't been called back and each time I was told it would be passed on and that either the owner or the district manager who manages the franchises in this area would call me back and no one ever did so I guess Dairy Queen doesn't give a crap or at least you know no Dairy Queen doesn't they don't give a crap how their franchises run or that they give out information that they shouldn't be giving to employees or that their employees parents are harassing their customers and the owner of the store doesn't give a crap how his employees treat people so i don't know i felt like keep calling back and calling back until i like got him to call back but i have a lot going in my life so i decided i had to just let it go so my way of letting it go is going on Google and Yelp and all of those and writing a big long review about the situation and the inappropriateness of it and how the manager and whatever or the owner and the corporate did not handle it. And so at this point I will say I will never eat at a Dairy Queen again. And I like Dairy Queen and in the summer it's nice to go there for ice cream. And if corporate had had the owner call me back even if the owner had acted like a total douchebag if corporate had like followed through and done something about the situation to try and remedy it when the owner didn't call me back there would be other Dairy Queens that I would probably visit but at this point since corporate did not think it necessary to remedy the situation and um the owner never called me back I'm not gonna go to any Dairy Queen but anyway, so like that's how my PT PTSD has been affecting me because I am irritable and had a short fuse and had a verbal altercation with someone at a Dairy Queen in the parking lot. It turned into them saying that I assaulted a girl that I didn't assault. So like 
some of my irritability issues are causing a little bit of problems but that is my story about how and why Dairy Queen called the police on me anyway this video is getting very very long and I just wanted to do a quick video because I haven't been doing a lot of videos and um, I did want you to guys to know like somewhat how I'm doing um, with things and so that whole little story time is kind of a small little reflection of how I'm doing with things there's a couple other times that I um, had irritably flip out issues in public in the last couple months and if you guys would like to hear those um, both of those are a little bit shorter of stories nowhere near as long as this but still I did flip out on a couple of people so if you want to hear those give this a thumbs up comment in the bottom if you want to hear those and I can make a story on that but I hope that you guys are all having a good day and I will make another video soon on something who knows what I just happen to have some quiet time here in the house um who knows when that will happen again but um if there's anything else that you guys want a video on let me know and I will talk to you later